point in Ardat Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardat Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Got something to report? I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Come on, let me in. Arya's expecting me. Sorry, fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yaxi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yaxi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I started looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Larian named Ish. I know of him. Just wondered if you'd heard of him. Thanks. Good night. Again, my friends. Please tell me you have something for me. Have you seen what's in these packages? Why? Did you find something untoward? Certainly nothing worth getting worked up about. I bet Mr. Anto would be very interested in this information, and in finding out who won. You wouldn't. Would you? It's not for me. A lot of people want to leg up on Arya, and they'll pay a lot of credits to get it. If Anto or Arya found out, I'd be ruined. Or killed. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. You, I can see it now, my friend. You are not one to be trifled with. Shall we return to business? I have the package from the drop point on Ilya. Excellent. And here's your reward. Simple as that. If you should happen to swing by the Citadel anytime soon, there should be another package there near Merib's shop. ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I'm looking into your daughter's death. Are you one of Arya's people? I'm working for Arya. Are you ready to answer my questions? I don't care if Arya sent you. You're asking about my nephew. That's what matters. 
No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative. How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morin. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morn. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this Morinth did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. Once we have all the facts, we'll decide on a course of action. If you find the person that hurt my nephew, you kill her. Or tell me where she is and I'll kill her. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. You mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures. Everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> my baby is gone. She's gone, and nothing will fix that. Why did this happen? <laughs> she never hurt anybody. We need to look in your daughter's room. Nothing will be disturbed. I'll try, but if my investigation requires it, I'll do what I have to do. Please try. For me. Please. I'll examine her things. Sending me this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens. I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vienna that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the helix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary, cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. She kills with sex, and I have no plans to sleep with her. 
Perhaps you have a right to be glib, Shepard. But caution is wise here. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. She sounds like my kind of a sorry. You joke, Shepard. But for all your might, you will be in great danger. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Marinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate act. Trust me. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Hello again. Did you find anything? Is there anything I can do to help? I should go. Bent! Bent is not! Researchers there may have been cloning Rachni genetic material. Fortunately, according to Council Representatives, the experiment produced no living Rachni. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Must have seen something you like. Since even prime. The initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn. People come to places such as this, seeking a better life. And on the jet home, they find this. Sources say that the Asari Shaira were commonly known as the consort, maybe leaving the Citadel after years of bad press and rumors of intelligence leaks. If I survive your mission, I may return here. Oriental Loop is Omega's number one citizen. But what do we really know about her with your help? We can make damage and What do you want? What's behind this door? 
VIP section of the club. For those with the right name. Do you want something? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jeroot. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Okay, what other things have we learned about Morin that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morin likes dancing while on a drug called Halex. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morin sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Getting her alone, then falling under her sway. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense, and she will be excited. Pick a fight, and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake, and Morant will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry, digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You gotta help me. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. The music here used to be avant-garde. Couldn't dance to it, but you felt smart listening to it. Sad losers who think they're something, and are about to find out they're not. <laughs> Who's gonna show us that? You? Human thinks he's a tough guy. Tougher than you.
guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. Can you back that up? We go out to the alley, only one of us comes back in. I'm just trying to have a drink here. No need to get all excited. Damn. My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? I know what I like. Do you? I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. But violence is such a charming way to reach that end. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Gorda? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Think about the violence in vids. It seems fake to me. I don't see the point. Fake or not, the violence is exhilarating. And that's what you're after? A cheap thrill? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon, maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that, you know? What do you think of Howard? Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. I guess they'll let anybody in here now. Can you back that up? We go up. I'm just trying to have a drink. My name is... I've got a booth over here. Some night... Tonight, it's you. I know what I like. Do you? I've traveled all it over... It changes you. Real travel. Where you can see... Yes. When I travel... Violent places? Violence is the Violence show. is a means to But violence end. is such a charming... Do you know anything It speaks to violence? the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive. I'm curious they about get in my... You can lose yourself in the music here. What do you think of how? Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. Surely you don't want to leave. 
Why don't you come over here? I promise you'll like it. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. Have a Halix if you want. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes. Better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. I need this. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I'm not the victim you were hoping for. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin! Ugh. Mother. Do not call me that! I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. Only crime to be born with the gift you gave me. Enough, Moran! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. They are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. They call me a monster. <clears throat> Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go.
Did we talk about Ish? What about him? He's collecting information about you. Plans to sell it to the highest bidder. I have no secrets. None at all. Take a look at this data. What? Where did you get this? This, this is privileged information. I'm not sure Arya would approve of this kind of behavior. Arya doesn't need to know, does she? You'll find out, one way or another. Or are you forgetting what she's capable of? What do you want from me? I'm feeling awfully talkative, especially around Arya. This ought to do it. Now get out of my sight and don't go looking for Ish. You won't find him. Thank you for the heads up, human. That's exactly how I expected Ish to go out. What do you need? Sounds like you and Patriarch have Our history is on me. When I arrived, the Patriarch was... I assume you decided he was too strong? No. It wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Sounds like you changed the rules and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to... Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. Toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Interesting. But Do you need move. something else? Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? You look like you need to... Nothing to see here. would like to speak with you, Commander. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Take care. I'm glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all lithe and sexy and... Never mind. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my f See you, Commander. Can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. You've had members of other species make a pass at you? Constantly. Very awkward. Skin tone apparently attractive by Turian standards. Subset of Krogan sexual deviants enjoy Salarian flexibility. More cartilage and skeletal structure. Asari offers intriguing, actually. Wonder why. Transspecies pheromones unlikely to work. Must be neurochemical. Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, 
Less alcohol and mood music required. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, mature rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No, aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people, faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous, have discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Well, why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example, yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdala region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but effectiveness limited. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Helped preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morton's Solus biography vid. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously, in that case, regardless. Thank you. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive. Ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate... I'll let you know, Miranda. Of course, Commander. Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? I'd like to follow that lead on Sidonis. Tell me again about Sidonis. Sidonis was on my team, but he disappeared. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people. What are you planning to do when you find You humans have a... He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. 
I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. You said that Morith was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. What will you do now that Morath is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Shepard. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I have done what I can to increase our exploration capability. I should go. Of course. Shepard. I heard you wanted to speak with me. Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. We can discuss it later, then. I have other duties I need to attend to. Of course. I'll return to my meditations. Shepard. I heard you wanted to speak with me. Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, well, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night, no final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my instrument contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I 
put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads, tucks my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. All right, you spawned. Organic species tend to do that. Is that all you wanted to talk about? There have been complications. I used my contacts to trace Kolyad. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected. No longer whole. Just give it to me straight. I'm not interested in your philosophical BS. He has gone to the Citadel and has gained a job as a hitman. I could discover no more. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Banker store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help. I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea lines. Waited it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled in me. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaji. Warm water pours in his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. Thane, I don't have your contacts. I don't need you. They wrapped her. The hand. They left. It rains. I didn't mean to make you relive Perfect memory. It is sometimes... You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. Shepard, is there time to visit the Citadel yet? What exactly Kolyat is your has gone to the Citadel. I was just thinking about you. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. What can we do for you, Command? Well do, Commander. Whenever we have time, I'll I've get got back to you. Talk to you later. I need to get to Prague. I'll think about yep. that. For another lesson, I was shadowing this rookie on an infiltration run to an eclipse base on Tatus. Good kid, but he had no business handling a rifle. In the shuttle on the way down, he puked in his helmet. We hit some turbulence, and with all the crap sloshing around, 
He'd only been shot in the head. Went back to the Alliance. Here he's a governor. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. <laughs> 